Heart auscultation is performed to assess the rate, rhythm, valve function, and anatomical defects of the heart. Four areas of the heart are examined using the diaphragm of the stethoscope. These areas are shown here in red. First, look at the aortic valve. Palpate the second intercostal space of the right sternal border. Assess for rate, rhythm, valve function, and anatomical defects. Next, the pulmonic valve is located at the second intercostal space of the left sternal border. The tricuspid valve is located at the fourth and fifth intercostal space at the lower left sternal border. Finally, the mitral valve is located at the fifth intercostal space to the left midclavicular line, also the apex of the heart. To better assess the pulmonic valve, have the patient lean forward, making the sound more audible. Next, to better assess the apex of the heart, have the patient lay on his left side. This may be necessary with obese patients. Always remember the importance of draping. Gently pull up their gown and also tape at the mitral valve. The patient is then asked to roll towards the clinician. This technique is more clearly seen here. Go. Performing heart auscultation on the female patient requires more precaution, especially by the male clinician. Draping becomes more of a concern throughout the examination. Note, the clinician is looking away during auscultation to avoid inappropriate eye contact with the breast. The valves are assessed in the same sequence. The patient is asked to assist in lowering the gown for access to the tricuspid valve. For better access to the mitral valve, the patient is asked to lift her gown and breast tissue out of the way. Again, paying careful attention to the clinician's eyes. Leaning forward for the pulmonic valve. and lying on her left side to access the apex of her heart. Notice the draping. Remember to ask for patient assistance when lifting the gown and breast tissue out of the way.